hey, hey, here are some great conditioning exercise for shoulder mounds. This is how to condition your shoulder mounds. Are you ready? Let's go. So this first one is on the ground and it has a couple of variations. Your hands are coming in a cup grip on the pole and your head is about a hand's width away from the pole. On your inhale, contract your abs and lift your legs and you're going to connect your ankles to the pole and use that to support you to do some hip raises and really work those lower hip flexors and abs. When ready, passe one leg and see if you can bring it down slowly, feet first to touch, booty last to touch. Keeping the abs tight. This next one, you're also going to be laying on the floor, starting with your head away from the pole, about a hand's width, both hands up in a cup grip, as so. Make sure you switch them, get both sides, and you're gonna straddle your legs up, connect the ankles, open up the straddle, and then come down. And then again, straddle up, connect the ankles, open up the straddle and then come down again and keep repeating I'd say four to six and that is your second floor variation for shoulder mount conditioning this is more the first two are to help with abs rather than the shoulder pain and I keep going feel free to get as many as you like both sides meaning switch the first cup grip you have to do the other side and now your next trick or conditioning exercise. Your next shoulder mount conditioning exercise will be on the floor but you'll be sitting hands in a cup grip again and you're gonna pick a shoulder make sure it's in the meat not the bone and you're gonna do some hip raises as so. This is a great way to train your hip flexors and your lower abs while also starting to condition for the shoulder mount pain. Rearrange yourself as so and then do the other side your fourth exercise is to add leg raises to those hip raises which will be a nice challenge also a great way to work on your hip flexors and ab conditioning again hip raise leg raise bring it down other leg raise and get a couple sets of those and then of course switch sides another great exercise to help condition abs hip flexors and slowly start to condition the pain of having the pole in your shoulder and your next exercise you get from shoulder mounts and your abs and they are shoulder mount pole crunches so you're going to pick a cup grip pick that shoulder you're in the meat of the shoulder not in the bone so it's in between the scapula and the neck and you're going to try to lift your legs and crunch up and bring those legs to your chest tucking the hips and another variation if you so wish make sure you switch sides of course but you're coming in cup grip going in the meat of that shoulder and you are going to try to lift with one leg straight and one leg bent which should be hard but easier than both straight legs and help condition those straight legs and of course switch legs and me wobbling over there 